You know, I know sometimes Terrence is down and just standing, you know, right there in front of you. Like, are they just going to be standing in the center of the ring throwing blood? Is it going to be a combination of all that? Like, how do you think that fight is going to look just from a fan's perspective? I think it's going to be all of the above. We've seen Sean box, even though he's not known for boxing. We've seen Sean press forward and brawl. And, 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 you know, get into your kitchen. We've seen Bud stand there and fight in exchange, trying to get his shots through. And we've seen Bud, but I think it's going to be ebbs and flows and back and forth. I think it's going to be that for both guys. And I, I just think that's going to be the fight. I don't see this fight going to this. Wow. Really? I, just, I think about all the scenarios, I can't see this fight going to distance. Those are the words of Andre SOG Ward as he gives his prediction on Sean Porter. Loose prediction. OK. Um, I want to counterpunch Andre Ward's um, prediction, loose prediction, because both of them are friends of his and he doesn't want to go in too deep. But he predicts that it won't go the distance. OK, we got that much from Andre Ward. Uh, that's similar of the prediction that I had, but it is more tightly predicted from myself. Um, I don't see it going the distance. Why? Because Terrence Crawford, he's not fighting to go the distance, for one. He doesn't really fight to go the distance. If Even when you think he won't or the fight will go the distance, it doesn't. Look at the Jose Benavidez fight. And that was not a great performance by Terrence Crawford. But the knockout was sensational. Why? Because he was looking for it all night and he won't stop until he gets it. And I think with Sean Porter, the opportunities that Sean Porter gives Terrence Crawford, I think that's all you need. Now, can Sean Porter punch hard enough to hurt Terrence Crawford? Maybe. Depends on what he hits him with. You know, Sean Porter has a great right hook because he throws his punches, you know, and um, while launching them and that launching punch from the right if if Sean, if Terrence Crawford's in the southpaw stance at that time it could be very effective for Sean Porter but you know I'm thinking Terrence Crawford's going to wait because he's a counter puncher he's a counter puncher boxer boxer puncher he punches but he punches in in certain times again we look at the Kell Brook fight you know he was waiting for Kell Brook the Brook to come in and commit and he did and Kell Brook is a counter puncher as well, so it was more difficult. Okay, it was more difficult catching Kell Brook than it will be catching Sean Porter because Sean Porter's rough, rugged. He likes a brawl. He gets in your face. He gets in your chest, right? And he does what he does. But Kell Brook is a guy that's a counter puncher, so it's hard for him to give you opportunities because he doesn't really give you any because your job is to give him the opportunities. Well, if you got two counter punchers, what you gonna do? It's like a Mexican standoff, right? So uh, I, I feel that Terrence Crawford will stop Sean Porter mid to late rounds because Sean's tough too. And the thing about Sean, he's going to take those punches. Now, the question is, can he adapt to what he sees Terrence Crawford doing? That's another question, okay? Because he may get caught with a counter punch, but it might not be enough to knock out the solid chin, the durability uh, factor off of Sean Porter with this, just that one counter. Okay. So, um, but I think eventually if he gets, if he keeps getting hit with them, they will, uh, weigh a toll. And I think he will do it more than Errol Spence. Cause Errol Spence is a tough guy, but Errol Spence's job is to come at you and chop you down, probe you with the jab, work the body, you know, and catch you every other opening that he possibly can with you. But he makes it tough and rugged. He's a real tough, big welterweight. Terrence Crawford's a medium welterweight, but he's he is wiry. He is quick and he is great with timing. And the timing will be the deciding factor in this fight. And, you know, Andre Ward, you know, back to him. I think he knows and I think deep down he knows that Terrence Crawford will get him. But I think out of respect, he doesn't want to, hey, I think Terrence Crawford will get him. You know what I mean? And and then you have to look at the factor, too. It's best for him to stay out of it, you know, due to the fact that 
he is an ESPN commentator, and then Terrence Crawford is an ESPN top rank fighter, so it would appear like it's favoritism. So I'm glad that he decided to back off. So it was a good call from Andre SOG Ward. You guys tell me what you think of his prediction. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.